Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here. And what we have here is this x plus y equals to 10. x times y equals to 10. We label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then from equation 1, we can make y the subjects. This is what we have become y equals to 10 minus x. And also from equation 2, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute the value of y here, and this becomes x times 10 minus x, then equals to 10 on this side. Next step, x open this bracket, and this becomes 10x minus x squared equals to 10. Then when we rearrange on this side, we have minus x squared plus 10x. And taking 10 to this side become minus, that's minus 10. Then equals to 0 here. At this next step, we multiply through by minus 1 here. And this become plus x squared minus 10x. Then plus 10 equals to 0 here. Which implies we have a quadratic equation here where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 10. Apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Then all we have becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 all over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus times minus as plus as 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared that's 100 minus 4 times 1 times 10 as 40 then over 2 that is here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40 that's 60 then over 2 then next step here we can express 60 as 4 times 15 and what we have becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15 over 2. And from here, when we have root a times b, this can be written as root a times root b. At this here, we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 over 2. Then here we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 plus 2, then times root 15 over 2. The next step here, we factor 2 from here. That is, we have x equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 15 left here, then over 2. That is here, 2 cancelled each other here. This becomes x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15. Then we have two possible values of x here. The first one, x1 equals to 5 plus root 15. And the second one, we have x2 equals to 5 minus root 15. Then to solve for the corresponding value of y, we use the relation y equals to 10 minus x. At this here, we have y1 equals to 10 minus x1, which is into bracket 5 plus root 15. Then minus open this bracket, we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5 minus root 15. At this here, y1 equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5 minus root 15. That is the first set of solution x1 comma y1 here is equals to 
5 plus root 15 comma 5 minus root 15. Then also here we get the value of y2 using the same relation. And this y2 equals to 10 minus x2, which is 5 minus root 15. And minus open this bracket. We have y2 equals to 10 minus 5 plus root 15. That is y2 here equals to 10 minus 5, that's 5, and plus root 15. We have the second set of solution x2, y2 equals to 5 minus root 15, comma 5 plus root 15. When we consider this solution here, this is interchange. X here is the same thing as Y here, and Y here is the same thing as X here. So we check either of these solutions to confirm if this solution satisfies this given problem. That is from equation 1, which is X plus Y equals to 10. You can use the first solution here. X does 5 plus root 15 plus y, which is 5 minus root 15, is it equals to 10 on this side. And here, root 15 minus root 15, this cancel each other. We have 5 plus 5, is it equals to 10 on this side. And 5 plus 5, that's 10, equals to 10 here. Yeah. This left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then, these two solutions here satisfy first equation here and also let's check for the second equation x times y equals to 10 that is substitute the value of x and y into the equation x times y equals to 10 and here x that's 5 plus root 15 times y which is 5 minus root 15 then this is equals to 10 on this side. And here this follows when we have a plus b into brackets, open brackets, a minus b. This can be written as a square minus b square. That is in this case a is 5, that's 5 square minus b. That's root 15, that's root 15 square. This is equals to 10 on this side. 5 square is 5 times 5, that's 25 minus. With 15 square, square cancel square root, we have 15. This is equal to 10 on this side. With 25 minus 15 here, that's 10, which is equal to 10 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, these solutions here also satisfy the second equation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to step, subscribe for more videos, and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class, and bye for now.